Hello you guys, how you guys doing? Today I want to be able to show you something that <clears throat> people have been asking me questions about and I figure it's necessary for me to make a video. Um, I own this computer but it doesn't necessarily has to do with just this particular computer. It can basically done be done with a lot of computers and that's uh, an issue that happens a lot with um, um, distributing charge to your battery in such a way that it it, um, it holds so much of it that by the time you press that um, uh, the power on button the computer will not turn anymore today I'll be able to prove to you how you can go around and um, bypassing that as you can see the light that emits when you press that button the computer is not turning on for this particular computer this is an Asus. Uh, for this particular computer, the battery is, is internal. You have to remove the bottom section portion of the cover. As you see, this is an Asus computer. And the battery is internal, so you, you can't, there's no way to remove it unless you remove the cover from here. Um, you have to be very aware about the position of the, the screws because they're all different. So the way I displace it is by putting it in order, in a fashion order, so that um, you know exactly the position on how they need to be. All right, so you guys just see the positions and the form I put the, the screws in such a fashion and order. That's because that's exactly how they go in the same position where the holes are situated. On. All right, so once you uh, remove the screws, you don't remove the cover from the back. The back actually holds a motherboard. Um, you have to flip it. Open up the computer. And at this point, remove the cover, the top cover that is. All right, once the cover is is um, removed you don't have to displace it from the uh, lines or the electrical cores that are situated under it as you can see you don't have to do that all you have to do is light it once you slide it you can basically see the battery that's the battery this whole entire section here All you have to do is remove it. I have just a bit of trouble because I'm using one hand. I'm jiggling it. And there you are. I just removed it from that socket there. See that? From that socket there. And here's the battery. This is the problem you're going to be having. So be careful when you yank it out not to damage the pins. Right. Now all you have to do from here on is press the button for about seven, 30 seconds or so. 28, 29, 30. And let and release and let go. Okay, so the reason why you did that, the reason why you pressed that button was so that you can release whatever leftover energy was inside the system. It's almost like draining whatever leftover it was. And once you do that, you have to connect uh, the, uh, the cable um, to the outlet uh, back. Or you can just plug in the battery at this time but I like to show you this way because some people say it's not possible well I'm about to show you that now after I press this button after holding it for a few seconds I should be able to see it light on did you see it? And there it is. Did you see it? It's back on. 
Now you 